Mahatma Gandhi said, and he was quoting part of the Old Testament teaching, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. What that, what that means, if I return meanness with meanness, if I return anger with anger, if I return evil with evil, if I return lying with lying, I keep everything at the status quo or less than. It's only when one in a party, whether it's a party of two people, two families, two communities, or two nations, when one decides, I'm not going to replace evil with evil, an eye for an eye. It's only when one party, and it only takes one party, says, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to rise above and give something more, exchange something good here, because it's the only way to eventually eliminate that kind of behavior. We talked about that a lot when we were looking at Martin Luther King Jr. last week and, and uh, Gandhi the week before. So then the question becomes, what are the habits or behaviors or actions that I could practice to learn to do good? What do you think? Be a mentor. Be, a mentor. Be forgiving. Be forgiving. Tolerance. Be honest. Tolerance. Tolerance. Patience. How about things also like really learning how to meditate, not so that you can sit in a chair and meditate beautifully, but at the core of meditation is learning how to control the mind, which is the same as saying learning how to control thought. Remember we said the most important relationship we have is with our thoughts. If I have angry thoughts that I do not work to manage, I'm very likely to act upon those angry thoughts. If I have judgmental thoughts, I'm very likely to act upon those judgmental thoughts. So meditation really is a very important practice to help one learn a different way of being, not just when we're sitting in the chair practicing it formally, but so that when we're out and about dealing with the kinds of things that trigger angry feelings or judgmental feelings or critical feelings or frightening feelings, that we're able to move 